our senior 12 sport athletes. And what that is, is these are student athletes who have been, been involved in all three seasons for all of four years. Um, let's break that down here a little bit. Now, I only have first-hand experience with one of these athletes, so I had to extrapolate some of the numbers based on my experience with, with that person. We're talking about 180 practices per year times four. That's 720 practices for each one of these three individuals. That doesn't include summer camps, clinics, those meetings that coaches like to throw on the calendar after the fact, team activities, all of those things. These athletes competed in, on average, 208 contests each. Conservatively, that's 416 hours of competition. Mr. Ramey just pointed this out. That 416 hours from the athlete's perspective is a walk in the park. Have you ever sat in bleachers? <laughs> 416 hours, parents. Kids, that's 17 days in a row, 24 hours a day. Yeah. At this time, I would like to introduce Tori Eichten. Tori competed in soccer, cross country, basketball, and apparently golf. <laughs> and pretty good. At Evan Smith. Football, wrestling, track and field. Tate Massey. Football, cross country, water polo, swimming, track and field. As Mr. Ramey pointed out, as a coach and as a, in an athletic department, uh, parents of these athletes, like I said, 416 hours, 17 days in a row, uh, that doesn't include the extra trips to the school, the laundry, before they could drive to practice and back twice a day in August. It doesn't include the trips to get the shoes they forgot to pack. And again, I have to extrapolate this because I only have one experience. So by my calculation, that's about 86 trips back and forth just for the shoes that they forgot. <laughs> Obviously, something had to give. These guys are putting in a ton of hours. Uh, both practicing, competing, training in the off-season, uh, academics, no. Tori Eichten, 4.0 GPA. Kevin <laughs> Smith, 3.35 GPA.
Tate Massey, 4.0 GPA. <laughs> to me, those are the most impressive numbers of all of them. And I, as a coach and as a parent, uh, I appreciate that. And I, again, want to recognize those parents that made all of this possible. The plaques that the students received uh, with the N and the picture and the little placard, there is a smaller version that goes up in the gym lobby. You have all seen them. If you haven't, uh, these will be our three newest. They will go on the wall this spring and will be up there for all your spare time that you'll have now you can come back and look at them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our 12 sports senior athletes. 